My innocence was just sold for $500. And my family was in on it. He had a hard childhood. There was drugs in the house. You saw something that's horrific that just causes trauma to be embedded in you. We weren't born criminals. You nurture that belief that it's a doggy dog world. You either the predator or you the prey. Okay, you committed crimes. Everybody else would tell you, you don't deserve a second chance. For some reason, the United States is just like, hmm, committed a crime, lock him up. Throw away the key, and let's hope he comes out better than what he did when he walked in. To this day, the conditions of confinement are part of the punishment. And that simply continues the pattern of anger, violence. We were at a point in corrections because of three strikes. The, the federal courts got into our business. They began to look at, you know what? There aren't a lot of rehabilitative programs. As far as believing in rehabilitation, it's a very small percentage. Did I believe when I first started? No, I didn't. So we did something that was a little different and unheard of. Our idea was to take these men and give them a skill set. So they brought together the first 50. I wanted to bring offenders and put them in the same housing and have them learning the same programs and processes. The program was designed to give an opportunity to individuals who were serving a life term to be substance abuse counselors. At the time, we had 85% of the inmates in prison were part of that drug culture. I knew that we really had a counselor shortage. We needed people that were highly trained counselors. So this is where we get to apply what we've learned. This is where we get to understand and, and identify and recognize what it is that I'm dealing with. What's happening to me? I knew that there was a day for certain that I was going to be paroling from prison, and I wanted to be ready for that day. People were finally facing all of the damage that they had done. And you're looking at your own thoughts, your own feelings, and your own actions. And then you're given the opportunity to change them. They changed the whole tone of that prison. They changed everything. We all go through a process of where we get in the life and we're drifting. And something is able to take you out of that and give you something that changes you and gives you purpose. 